hello everyone this is part two of the photoshop tutorial and in this i'm just going to show you how to scan images and um hand-drawn drawings in two different ways one is through the mobile app called adobe scan which directly links to your cal poly account and it's a good way of linking um the scanned images to photoshop and the other method is using the free printing and scanning service in building 5 room 106 to begin i will open up the app and just capture the image according to it has an automatic sensor so it captures the image and then i'm just going to ensure that i crop the image to my liking in this case i am just cropping it whole so i can edit it later and I just hit continue and it automatically saves the image for me. Um, hi guys, I will show you another way of scanning of your sketches or diagrams for you to later refine and edit in Photoshop. So we're in the print room right now in um, building 506 and um, you can use one of these to quickly print or scan for free. So I just have this quick sketch here and I'm um, just gonna show you how to scan using this. So I just um, align it to the edge and cut this. Then I have my uh, pen drawn with kind of like external memory and then just put it in on this side. So now um, it's gonna ask me what I wanna do with this and I'm gonna choose to save the document to external memory, which is the pen drive. Okay, so once I've inserted the pen drive, I can choose to save the document to the external memory. And in doing so, it opens up the settings and formatting page. I'm just gonna ensure that my resolution is at a at least 300 DPI, so I get a good resolution image. And in the color, I can pick either black and white, grayscale, or just have automatic colors. And for today, for file size or file type, I'm just gonna pick compact PDF. It just compresses the PDF that's coming in. And then for the scan size, I'm gonna make sure it's eight and a half by 11 for now. Now that I've done all of my settings, I can just hit start. And this prompts a message not to open up the scan now i'm pretty sure it, that it is saved in our sd card and once we connect this to our laptop we should be able to view the files